So whether you're a first time home buyer, looking to downsize or looking to invest here in Airdrie, Alberta, here's five homes under 500,000. So I'm gonna start from the lower end and work my way up to the higher end. So we're gonna start with this apartment in the downtown kind of Airdrie area, listed at 219.5. Um, I have put in the calculator 5% down, 4.74 interest rates on all of these. So it'll give you a rough idea of 1800. That's including the condo fees and the property taxes. Two bedroom, two bath, just under 850. What caught my eye on this one was the assumable mortgage though. So assumable mortgage, you could potentially take over their mortgage um, interest rates at that 2.69. So that will save you when we punch it in. It's about $200 what it's going to save you. So that's pretty good. Like to, to get last year's interest rates um, today is not very common. So this is kind of the key thing on this listing that caught my eye. Also has a titled um, parking space underground. Really good to have here. So you don't have to shovel your car. Really like that feature. Now let's go into the pictures. So I can see right away baseboard heating, which is not uncommon, um, but looks to be in good shape. You've got your laundry room on in the in suite, so that's really nice. It looks like a little bit of storage in there as well. Ground floor, the little patio space. It's really centrally located. So there's a Tim Hortons over here and a Sobeys over here. You can really access it to off of Veterans or even Yankee Valley because um, it's really kind of in between the, the two major roadways coming in um, right off of 8th Street. So it's actually in a really good accessible location. It's close to the Iron Horse Park, which is the little train station um, here at Airdrie. Kids really like it. An exterior so inside again looks to be in good shape I'm not seeing anything that kind of stands out it you've got your open floor plan you got a little patio out there your maple cabin cabinetry you do have a spot for the dining area so that's really nice that you have that you got a dishwasher all very standard this is the ensuite um, so you got to walk through closet into the ensuite so not bad sizes really when i'm looking at this all right we'll move on to the next one so this one is a town home in bayside listed at 399.9 calculator comes in around the 2600 a month and that's with the condo fees and the property taxes as well it's just over 1200 square feet three bedrooms three and a half bath that's a lot of bathrooms in here um, so that's kind of neat to see. And it looks like condo fees are about 362 a month. So let's look at the big picture. So you got a single car garage on this townhome. It is a middle unit, so you're not an end unit. Cute little front entrance. You got a nice little fireplace. So yeah, you've got the white kitchen, stainless steel appliances. Looks to be in good shape. The flooring looks good. Baseboard and all that looks good. Yeah, you're a two-piece bath. This is your ensuite. That's a nice size. Really nicely done ensuite as well. Walk-in shower. Nice size walk-in closet so this must be the one of the second bedrooms third bedroom shared bath you've got your laundry so it's not stackable so that's kind of nice you've got a little bit more storage up here and this one I really like because you've got the little kitchenette in the basement so if you have a, a you know a teenager or a parent living with you it kind of gives them their own separate space it doesn't appear that there's a bedroom down here because they're kind of using the living space as a bedroom and living room but there is a bath down here so that's really nice and here's your single car garage and then you've got a nice little deck in the back and a patio what I like about this is that you're really close to the canals there. So you've got your walking path right here. And then in the summer, you could do kayaking. In the winter, they usually clear spots off and there's ice rinks. So 
it's that's really cool that you're right backed onto this and Bayside this area is a little bit more developed so you've got a little bit more developed trees in the area not quite like some of the older districts but um, still you do have some tree coverage in here so that's really nice okay third one so this one is in the older district um, in Airdrie it's in Big Springs um, so like you can see nice huge trees lots of sun coverage um, in the summertime listed at 417 it's looking like 2400 is your monthly payment just over 1100 square feet six bedrooms that's that is a lot of bedrooms two and a half baths uh, this one doesn't have a garage though so just keep that in mind it is a detached home but it does not have a garage so when we look throughout, it's vacant. So if you're looking for a quick possession, you know, this is really great is that you've got a home that you could probably have a really quick possession on too, seeing that it's vacant. So it's a bi level, nice renovated kitchen. You've got some stonework in here. Nice, good size pantry with lots of storage. Nice little patio door out to the deck. There's one bedroom. So you have a little bit, you'll have to, you know, looks like you have to add some closet doors, a little bit of small repairs there. Um, carpet wise, I'm seeing a little staged, so it's either a good cleaning or possibly new carpet, but really nothing major standing out on the blinds down there, but really I'm not seeing any major concerns from the looks of the picture. Again, you always have to see these homes in person to really get an idea of what they look like. And um, you've got a gas fireplace down in the basement. So things I would look for when I like would be going to this house is I'd be looking at the subfloor. Does it have a subfloor or is that carpet on grade? Because that will make a difference. If there's no in-floor heat, it will be a little bit cooler in the winter. Um, without that subfloor. But if it has a subfloor, you really notice that um, keeps that floor a little bit warmer. So it looks like it's nicely updated flooring though. That looks fairly new from what I can see. So good size bedrooms. I must say with the older homes, you, you have uh, a good size bedroom. Um, I see a little bit of the baseboard. Again, you don't have the closet doors. So little minor updates here and there that would have to still be completed in the home. You've got your laundry room, nice good storage space for your paint or tools or what have you. Um, exterior looks really nice. Looks like uh, they've had the siding updated. Probably had uh, some hail damage and had that updated. But again, you've got a driveway, but, but when I go over, you don't have an actual garage on here. You just have a pad. All right. Nice, cute backyard. Lots of sun coverage with these trees here with poplar and stuff looks like that poplars on your neighbor's yard so that's really nice it's not your responsibility but you'll have that sunshade in the summer on to the next one okay so this one is also a townhome here in Airdrie it's in channel side listed at 424.9 you're looking at a monthly payment of 2400 just over 1300 square feet three bedroom two and a half baths for this one um so a few things caught my eye with this listing. I'll just expand it. You've got the kind of newer dark kitchen. The flooring looks great throughout. Um, looks like you've got some really cute hexagon backsplash there. Little upgrades like that is really nice. You got an open floor plan. Nice good size master with a walk-in closet. Lots of sun. Uh, sunshine throughout is what I really noticed. You've got the walk through shower, the walk stand in shower. This bedroom is actually, it, it appears that it's a little bit bigger because I'm thinking this is a full bed and then you've got this big desk. So that's a good size room to hold those things. And then this is your third bedroom. You've got your stackable washer and dryer upstairs as well. And then the basement. So things I noticed in the basement was missing panels. So I'm assuming that this is from their speakers and I'll go to the next one. So the projector, they moved those um, just for wiring those in 
and never got around to putting those panels back. Also, what's missing is the trim around the doors and the baseboard. So it's almost to completion, but there's a few things that have to be done um, to get it to fully completed basement. But really what I like about this too is that it's a corner unit. So you're gonna have more windows on this side. You only have the one neighbor. It's got a double detach or attached garage in the back. So that's really great is that you have got that double car garage. So you can fit either a car and all your bikes and stuff on one side or two cars um, either or, right? So you've got lots of parking with this unit. So really nice unit. And on to the next one is in Kings Heights. So this one also is a um, duplex, so a semi-detached duplex. It's in Kings Heights and it's listed at 474.9. So the monthly payment here would be about 2,700. I think it's funny that they have $7 as the other expenses. I'm assuming that's the HOA. So $84 annually would be the HOA fee for Kings Heights. Taxes is 2022, so you're looking at 2,600. Um, 1,300 square feet, three bedroom, two and a half bath, really nice, um, we've got, we'll expand this. So you've got a really nice dark kitchen. I like the silhouette blinds that you have. Those would have been little upgrades. Stainless steel appliances, your two piece. Looks like not lots of sun coming in. Nice, good size master. Another stand in shower. Stop that. Okay, this is your second bedroom, third, so really standard new build um, bedrooms there. You've got a nice good um, washer dryer, like a laundry room. You could put some cabinets up there and have tons of storage. It's really nice. Again, you've got an N unit here. Well, that's duplexes, it's N units. So you're only sharing one wall. Really cute uh, front door though really like the front porch. You've got the double car garage in the back. So that's really nice. It looks like nicely landscaped too. Really cute. Nice little deck in the back. Yeah, I would say this is a, a nice cute home. And it's nice that you have the double car garage as well. So plenty of space for your cars. So you don't have to shovel that darn snow off in the winter. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, always happy to chat. So feel free to call, text, or email me. My contact info is below in the description.